What's up, YouTube? It's Drew. Hope you're doing well. Um, one of the most popular questions I get, one of the questions I get the most on Twitter, uh, is about how to prep your card uh, for an autograph. So look, I'm, I got a bunch of different cards here. Uh, some of them are modern, some of them are chrome, some of them are paper, uh, some of them are, uh, are not. Some of them, one, this one right here is from, I believe this is a 1989. Um, what I'm going to do is just show you really quick, right off the top, what happens when you don't prep your cards uh, for an autograph. You can imagine, look, you run into Aaron Nola at the supermarket. You have his Bowman paper base card. You're thinking, hey, this is paper. Uh, I should be able to sharpie some paper. No, look at that. Streaky, bubbly. I haven't even given this a, tr a chance to really sit there and get real bad, but you can see right there, no good. Hey, same deal, running to Casey Martin, running him at the car wash, same thing. You see those, see that bubble there? I'm trying to get the light to kind of reflect there. No good. And look, this is a nice, bold, black Sharpie. Maybe you're not so lucky. Maybe you have like a pen or something else. Look at that one. That one bubbled up a lot. And this is a, a Topps Fire. This is a, not exactly like a chrome thing that you would think would have a lot of trouble with it, but look at that bubbling. That's terrible. And this one's... um. Yeah, this one's also top fire. This one actually doesn't look terrible. But hey, look, three of the four, these are just modern cards, some paper, some chrome, some shiny, whatever. And you're not stoked on that, right? You run into somebody, maybe you're at the game, maybe whatever, and you want to get an autograph that sticks to it just like they used to. Back in the day, look at this, no prep, no anything. 1989, because it's the true cardboard, just bold, black, no bubbles, no trouble at all. That thing is on there. So look. What you've got to do is prep your cards for autograph. I'm going to take these two, since they're the ones that seemed like they had the biggest trouble, and I'm going to do what's called the baby powder method. Now, baby powder method is really <laughs> as simple as it sounds. Um, you take some baby powder, you put it on the card. I'm going to do it right here in front of you, and we're going to do a little side by side. And what you're doing is you're putting the baby powder on, and uh, you're going to rub it in there, just on where, where you want the, uh, the autograph. Now, this is not damaging the card. You're gonna go clockwise, counterclockwise, you're gonna go up and down. Maybe do it for 30 to 60 seconds, depending on the card surface type and all that kind of thing, depending how thorough you wanna be, really. Um, so I'm gonna do that for these two cards. I'll probably fast forward the video here so you don't have to watch. So as you could see, uh, bef uh, while it was kind of going super speed there. <laughs> um, left, right, up, down, really just kind of um, working it every which way uh, on the area where you want to have that thing signed. Then you take a microfiber cloth, you take whatever, um, and you go ahead and you, you wipe it off. And now let's, let's, uh, let's sign them again. And let's get the difference. Jeez, right away. Look at this. This Bowman paper standard top one, that's prepped. It looks just like, where did I put that other card? Oh, it's over here. It looks just like that 1989 where it sticks to the sticks to the card. No bubbles, no streaking, no anything. Compare that. Look at that side by side. You can see the one right below it. And similar deal on this one. Right here, this is the top spire. Prepped versus not prepped. Prep your dang cards. You think you got a chance to get them autographed? I'm tired of seeing your bubbly autos. There you go. Nice and simple. All it takes is baby powder. It's that regular baby powder that you grab CVS, Walgreens, wherever you get your baby powder. And, um, and, and like I said, you're not doing too much damage. You're just softening that surface and making it more receptive um, to your Sharpie or your marker. All right, everybody. That is that. I'm Drew. Thanks for tuning in, checking it out. Hey, happy auto collecting. Hope you get out there. Hope you get some big, bold ink on your favorite card. And, uh, and happy collecting in general. Thanks for watching.